exercise 9.2, operations of algebraic fractions. Up to this point, all the work that we have done with fractions has been involving fractions only with numbers, none that were rational functions, meaning that there are variables in the fractions. So we've had our calculators where we can plug everything directly into the calculator, which is what you need to do if there are only numbers. If there are variables though, you cannot plug variables into the calculator, you need to understand the rules for fractions. In order to add or subtract fractions, remember you must have a common denominator in order to add or subtract. If it's a number problem, use your calculator, you don't need to worry about finding the common denominators. If there are variables, you need to apply the rule. Once you have a common denominator, you simply add or subtract the numerators, which remember is the top part, and keep the denominators, which is the bottom part, the same. So looking at this first example, 5 over n plus 9 over n. We already have a common denominator of n. The denominator always stays the same once you add or subtract. You simply add or subtract the numerators. 5 plus 9 is 14, so we have 14 over n. Second one, a over mn plus b over mn. Common denominator already is there. Simply add the tops, we get a plus b over mn. Third one, 2a over x plus 6a over y equals, this time we do not have a common denominator. So what we need to do is we need to rewrite each one of these fractions with our common denominator, which is x times y. Out of the first fraction, to go from a denominator of x to a denominator of xy, I'm missing the y, which means that I need to multiply by y. Out of the se second fraction, to go from y to xy, I'm missing an x, so I need to multiply the second one by x. Once we convert to a common denominator, I can rewrite it as a single fraction over that denominator, in this case, they are not like terms up top, so all I can do is say that that's 2ay plus 6ax, all divided by xy. Multiplying and dividing fractions, much simpler than adding or subtracting. Reason it's simpler is you do not need a common denominator when multiplying or dividing. Any two fractions in any form, you can multiply or divide in the current form without having to change anything. When we multiply fractions, multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom, simplify and you're done. 2 times 3 is 6, x times y is xy, nothing I can simplify there. xy times x uh, over z times xy over wz, multiply straight across. x times x, x squared, y times y, y squared. In the bottom, z times wz is wz squared. Nothing can be simplified. We're done. Dividing fractions. We do not have to worry about common denominators, but every time we have a division problem, we're going to change it to a multiplication problem by taking the reciprocal of the second fraction. First fraction stays the same. We change the division to multiplication, take the reciprocal of the second fraction, and now follow your rules for multiplying straight across the top, straight across the bottom, 5b over 3a. Last one. Can't see it very well. I'm going to rewrite it over here for you so you can see it a little bit better. 2x squared over a divided by... 4x over b. First fraction stays the same. Change the division to multiplication. Take the reciprocal of the second fraction. Multiply straight across the top. We're going to get 2x squared b. In the bottom, 4ax. 2 over 4 can be simplified. We're left with x squared b over 2a x. Actually, let's redo that again. We can simplify it even more. 2 over 4 becomes 1 half. What happens with the x's? There's one x that's going to cancel, leaving me with 1 still up in top. So the top, I'm just going to have x b. In the bottom, the 4 has been simplified to 2. 
the x is canceled and we're left with xb over 2a.